in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Inside and outside, glory to your name. Worship him, give him a shout. Bible says a shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tents of the righteous. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's excited to be in God's presence. It's really exciting. In His presence, the Bible says there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. Walk up to three people and tell them it's good to see you again. Make sure you are smiling. Greet your enemies. Greet your friends. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's good to see wonderful faces. We are the victorious ones. Hallelujah. We are the victorious ones. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, every time we come before God, I need you to know that we're not just doing a ceremony that makes us excited are you following me now we're not just doing church and getting excited the bible says now the lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the lord is there is emancipation there is liberty for you are bigger than what we say 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 you are bigger than what we say You are bigger than what I say. Say, say, you are bigger than what we say. Say, say, you are bigger than what I say. Say, say. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you once again for this privilege and this opportunity to worship in your presence. Thank you for your word, your ability to build up our spirits. Thank you because your word does not fail. Lord, we thank you for the confidence that we have in your word. Just hold the hands of your neighbor and begin to pray in the spirit. Can you? hands of your neighbor and pray in the spirit edify your spirit man this is how we are built in his presence every mountain of unbelief setting our gaze on the ability of the spirit looking beyond the flesh and the limitations that come with this system looking up and above and unto he that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask let faith rise in your spirit we pray because we are the victor
victorious ones empowered by the energy of the spirit there is a working of the spirit in us that causes us to look beyond the unseen in the name of jesus we have the ability we are not ordinary god lives inside of us we're in partnership with the holy ghost advancing the frontiers of the kingdom of our father Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let those get pariyeke tire. Come on, pray in the spirit. This is part of the meeting. You are being built. You are energized. There is a working of the spirit that melts every sickness, that melts every oppression of Satan. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the anointed of the Lord say so. Let the blessed of the Lord say so. Let the victorious of the Lord say so. Let the generals of the Lord say so. Rapaka prose keta, lem raba se prosa sibarai, rapa sibara. In him we live, in him we move, in him we have our being. Generate energy in the spirit. Lake kapala raba kose prakele bele rebos, rata pa prosa sotepa. But ye belong, building up yourselves in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue and defieth himself, builds up himself in the name of Jesus. We set our gaze on Jesus. We set our perception beyond the limitations of this world. The ability of the spirit is at work in us. We refuse to be limited. We are a strong family. We are unlimited by the power of the spirit. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard. It has not come into the heart of any man that which God has revealed unto us. Make sure you are praying. This is part of the service. It's a season of great grace and glory. Great grace. Great favor. Great enablement to do beyond our capacity. To stretch beyond boundaries. Break forth from the north, the east, the south, the west. There is grace for enlargement. We are strong like Mount Zion. We cannot be shaken. Fix our gaze on Jesus, the author, the finisher of our faith. I am victorious. Hallelujah. 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 In one minute before we sit down, I'd like you to prophesy to yourself and say, I'm victorious in this life. I'm victorious. Come on, prophesy. Come on, pray. Speak it. Above sickness, I am victorious on account of what Jesus has done upon the cross. Oh, I am victorious in this life. I look beyond every limitation. I am above. Come on, pray. This is the season where there must be a performance, a manifestation of the word of God, a manifestation of the ability of the spirit in you. I am above Kaposo Tobaya, above this system, above this realm. I refuse to be limited by the power of the Holy Ghost. I refuse death. I refuse sickness. I refuse poverty. I refuse the world, the flesh. I am above by the Spirit.
Yes, I'm above. Let's face right. Koinonia, the place of intimacy, the place of prophecy. Prophesy, saints of God, God will not fail you. I know my God is alive. I know my God is alive. Over your life, He's alive. Energizing you to be relevant in the kingdom. For Savior shall come out of Zion and they shall judge the mount of Esau. By fulfilling prophecy, fulfilling Obadiah, Saviors shall arise from every tribe and every tongue, every continent, every nation. Saviors shall arise. Prophesy, I arise. Great light arising, breaking free from every limitation. rise in your spirit. This is the victory that overcomes. This is the victory that overcomes. Even our faith but the path of the just is as a shining light shines brighter in spite of every limitation shines brighter shines brighter Hallelujah. Listen, friends. I need you to understand that we have a vision in this place. The vision is not just to celebrate people inside and outside. The vision is not just to show the excellence of the kingdom. I need you to realize that we have a vision. And that vision is to bring everyone into a place of intimacy where you know the Holy Spirit. Where you understand his voice. And to bring you to a point where you are equipped with the knowledge of the kingdom. The Bible says he gave unto some. He gave apostles and prophets and teachers pastors and evangelists for the equipping of the saints that they the saints will do the work of the ministry hallelujah and so it's not just for us to jump and shout you are supposed to become something under this atmosphere and if after a period of time you do not become it we have failed are you listening to me it's our goal that everyone understands the system of the kingdom. That's why for us here, your spiritual advancement is not when you become a pastor. That's not the proof that you are growing. It's how much you are growing in intimacy with the Holy Spirit. And you are equipped with the ways of God. The principles of the kingdom. I've always said it here. The Bible says he made two great lights. One to rule in the day. And the other to rule in the night. And the Bible says the entrance of thy word giveth light. That light to rule in the day. As the word of God comes, it comes to equip you. So that you will rule and reign. And legislate on behalf of heaven. He said thy kingdom come. Let your governing influence find expression in this fair. And we are these saviors that God is training and raising. We are on a mission. 
I need you to understand the mission is bigger than E and I. The mission is bigger than Koinonia. The mission is the kingdom of our Father. Hallelujah. And so every time you come, I like you to be sensitive. If all you want to come and do is just come and see friends and hear the next Rema and see the manifestation of the Spirit, as good as that is, we will seem to be successful by the ratings of the world. That's the rubbish that goes on. We rate success in ministry by parameters that are unknown in the realm of the spirit. But we are in a time and a season where the quality of men, you see, let me tell you something. Leaders do not maintain followers. They raise leaders and champions out of people. Leadership is not about maintaining followers. Our pride is not that we become gods in this place and have people come pray for me. Our pride is to see that the least of us become as great as David. The glory of the Lord is risen upon. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Prophesy the glory is the season. The glory of the Lord is risen upon. I see the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I see the favor of the Lord. I see the favor of the Lord is risen upon me. I see the knowledge of the Lord. The knowledge of the Lord is risen upon me. So I arise and shine. And the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord it is risen upon me. Oh, I rise and shine, I shine the light is gone. And the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord it is risen upon me. Hallelujah. Breathe upon us tonight, O oh God. Lord, we are tired of religion. I pray that this will not just become a ceremony. Let every flesh be crucified. And let Christ alone be lifted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Once again, it's good to see everyone. Wonderful faces. Hallelujah. Before I begin ministering tonight, I'd like to invite one good friend. He has not told us Happy New Year. Mazi Prosper, appreciate him, please. He's coming up to tell the whole house Happy New Year. Good to see you. Amen. You know, they always talk about um, the shoe. John the Baptist said, Jesus Christ sandals, he cannot untie. The shoe is putting me inside, I cannot work with it. I have to drop it here also. I want to say a very big thank you and um, Happy New Year to all my house and my friends, my well wishers, my fellowship members. You know, that's one thing I love about him. Anytime I come into Zaria, I have a wedding tomorrow. So I told him I'm coming to fellowship with us. He said, you have to be here. And I want to thank God for all the co-ministers. When I saw them on their suit, it reminded me of the suit I'm going to wear tomorrow. <laughs> That's why I didn't wear my own today. So I'm blessed by your suit. I'm encouraged. In future, I'm going to be wearing this one. <laughs> then before I go, I want to say this. Um, this is um, our resumption time, you know time of resumption, anytime I remember my days in school, it used to be funny. You know, when you resume from school, resume back to school, your pocket is full, I would advise you sow your seed in church and carefully invest into your stomach. You know, when school resumed, the way people cut things from hostel, it's so amazing. There is strength, there is money. From hostel, you'll be hearing, Granos! <laughs> Granos! Bring me five and four sugar! That means money is in the pocket. 
But when semester begin to reduce middle time, nobody shout again. When you don't reduce, your voice will reduce. What they'll be hearing is granot. <laughs> granot. Two and one sugar. <laughs> then during exam period, when the thing is no more there, the only thing you have is your transport. <laughs> nobody shout again. What you be hearing? <laughs> one, no bring sugar. <laughs> I want to say very big thank you. I love you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's always fun with Marzi Prosper. Hallelujah. Don't worry, this is the semester and the session that you'll be smiling even during the exam. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mark, let's go to the word of God. I want to salute all the men of God in this place. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much for fellowshipping with us. Great servants of the Lord serving in his vineyard. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I trust that the Lord will cause his word to prosper in our hearts. And I want to challenge you that this is the year and this is the season where you must make up your mind to put the word to practice. Hallelujah. It's not enough to hear the word. It's not enough to hear Rema. The end of every revelation is that you apply it. It must become part of your life. Hallelujah. It must become part of your life. Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16 are you there if you are still looking for the book of Mark we are going to punish you and the punishment is you will listen to all the koinonia messages for last year because we shared a lot of scripture so you will keep turning until you are used to the Bible how many of you know that when you study the Bible there is an intimacy between you and the word that when they say open to the book of this in your mind you have opened there we used to do a program uh when i was in secondary school called sword drill i know some of you don't know it what do you mean you know it how many of you some of you don't know it the only thing you know is well this is a good year i'm your friend let's let's not go into it <laughs> hallelujah mark 16 verse 15 and he said unto them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature can we read it together one to read go ye into all the world and preach the gospel hallelujah i'm doing a teaching tonight titled conquering cosmos hallelujah conquering cosmos c o s M O S conquering cosmos and we must understand the system of the world God is equipping us you see the the greatest tragedy in Christianity is, is it's not that there are unbelievers or people who are not serious with God is that there are so many believers who do not understand the vision of God the agenda of God, the heartbeat of God, the plan of God. Many believers think that the ultimate desire of God is just to get souls saved and then prepared for heaven. While that is very good, that is not enough. Hallelujah. A few others, especially the Pentecostals and the Charismatics, go a step further and they believe that all there is to the journey of faith is to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And then others feel that when you get filled with the Holy Spirit, then you know you're right. Then you buy a car and wear a nice suit. And that's the proof that you're growing in the Spirit. Hallelujah. But we've been establishing the fact that God has a need. Say after me, God has a need. And God has an agenda. We did not just appear in space. Hallelujah. Just escorting people. And can I tell you something? 
right now that we are in the generation of rediscovery everybody we are rediscovering our talents we are rediscovering purpose we are rediscovering the giant in us the lion in us the beast in us for other people the antichrist in them everybody is rediscovering all kinds of things that is locked up inside them hallelujah we need to realize that purpose is useless until the kingdom is understood are you following me the concept of purpose the concept of destiny is useless until there is a correct understanding of the kingdom of god how that the kingdom of god is not just a religion it's not a movement jesus didn't come as one of the movement or one of the founders of a movement he gave us a system a kingdom of god hallelujah and so mark 15 says and he said unto them go ye into all the world the word here is cosmos the greek word is cosmos now cosmos talks about two things number one cosmos talks about the social environment talks about the people cosmos are you following me now it talks about the people humanity the inhabitants upon the earth number two cosmos talks about a system a system of government a system of rulership a system of uh, a system that shapes the mind it controls the mind and the ideologies of people are you following me now and so cosmos doesn't just talk about the people it talks about both the people the social environment and the system that shapes their mind there is a system that is existing in our world today that informs the way we behave are you following me now informs the way we talk informs our priorities and our passions years ago the things that we uphold today as priorities were not priorities is that correct years ago there was no gsm right now if your phone gets missing you almost feel like dying you were alive and doing well without the phone so there are certain systems it's an order that seems to have control it governs the mindset of people and territories and jesus said go into cosmos both the people and the systems and do something he says go into all the world and preach the gospel now can i tell you something i believe in soul winning ministry of great men billy graham reinhard bonke but evangelism as we know it is only part of the gospel that's not all the gospel are you listening to me the gospel is is a value system are you listening to me it's an ideology it's a mindset it's a value system that seeks to enthrone jesus as lord are you following me now when we talk about the gospel good news a value system a mindset a state of being an understanding an alignment of your mind and your spirit that brings you to a position where you understand government and authority where christ is lord are you following me now not many people have taught this in church we graduate people from bible colleges they learn about prosperity they learn about marriage they learn about ministry ethics but they do not learn about the culture the life the value the gospel of the kingdom we preach different kinds of gospels but jesus came with a single gospel he called it the gospel of the kingdom the word kingdom refers to every environment and atmosphere where the governing influence the life the culture the values of the king is enforced and permitted to find expression so when we talk about the gospel of the kingdom we are not just talking about repenting and coming to jesus alone that's wonderful but that's just the initial step if we stop there we will rob the church of standing in partnership with the holy spirit to fulfill the agenda of god and so you must understand that the gospel does not just seek to transform your spirit are you listening to me to deliver you from hell and eternal judgment no after that then romans chapter 12 verse 1 says i beseech ye brethren by the mercies of god that ye offer your bodies 
as living sacrifices holy and acceptable unto god he says which is your reasonable act of worship verse 2 says and do not be conformed to this aeon this world this age the thinking pattern that is found in cosmos do not be conformed he said but be transformed be metamorphosed how by the renewal of your mind and first peter chapter 1 verse 9 calls that the end of your faith even the salvation of your soul are you following me now so the gospel is supposed to affect your spirit your soul and your body there's supposed to be an alignment and an understanding for many people our concept of christianity and the gospel is that we come to a point where we become men of god so the day you get born again your vision your goal your pursuit is to get so big that your pastor just calls you and says okay now i see that you are a threat to me in this ministry so go and open a branch and have a nice day and for us that's what we call kingdom advancement it's important that the body of christ comes into an understanding of the system that jesus left with us are you following me now for if we do not come into that understanding we will keep doing what we have been doing and the world will never recognize that jesus christ is lord the average christian does not understand what there is more to our christianity so when you get born again and filled with the holy spirit we are so idle we don't know what to do so someone just turns and looks at a beautiful lady and says, well let's let's get married at least let's keep the journey going somebody else says okay let's get prosperity somebody else says let's open a church or let's open an outreach or an orphanage ladies orphanage or let's open something else but i need you to understand that the kingdom is not haphazard are you listening to me god is not scratching his head thinking okay so what next will we do no the kingdom of god is a structure that has been put in order are you realizing this and so we must come to the understanding of the structure of the kingdom and how we are to function in it and only when let me tell you something what you are seeing right now is a revival that is in place are you listening to me because many believers have taught that christianity has nothing to do with business politics media and all of this and so we just feel that all there is to christianity is come to church sing join choir so when we talk of serving the lord what preachers have taught people is serving in my church that's what they call serving the lord are you following me now so they have put a church and ministry mindset in people and so they believe they are serving god when they are serving in church and we frown at them when they say they have left our church or they have left something we just feel you are wasting you are not serving the kingdom we must grow the body of christ out of a church and a ministry mentality to begin to think of the entire span of the kingdom of our father so that our success and accomplishment is not how eni is doing well is how the body of christ universal is faring are you following me now and so he says go into cosmos and preach the gospel put in them both the people and the systems a mindset and an ideology that brings everybody to the obedience of christ where they realize that christ is king where his values becomes the value of that system are you listening to me many people complicate the message of the gospel if jesus intended for everyone to obey the gospel then it had to be simple enough i don't need a concordance to understand the gospel i may stretch to understand god but how does the person in the village ever come into alignment with kingdom realities the gospel is simple it's an ideology it's a set of values every time you are employed in a company the first thing they do is an orientation even if you entered with first class is that correct and they attempt to put in you the modus operandi and the value of that company and they tell you we don't come late you come late twice you collect your last salary outside the gate and don't come here again are you following me now and they tell you when you are here you dress in a certain manner you smile at your clients whether you are tired or hungry this is the modus operandi are you following me now the degree to which you align yourself with the values of that company is how much you will be promoted and lifted 
are you following me now now we understand this in the educational and the secular world but not in christianity the average christian is envisioning when he will become a pastor and have a flock of one million people and all we end up doing is just receiving and prophesying to people with no knowledge whatsoever of the program and the agenda of god and so we keep having beggars lining up day and night without growth and every time you see anybody doing anything the day you see him writing a rap you just look at him and say you're rapping as a christian and now the person is confused starting standing in the middle of nowhere not i every time i sit i sense an inspiration and then you run to the man of god and say what is this inspiration for says demonic kill it now go and carry your bible and what we have ended up doing is growing a crippled church that do not understand the program and the agenda of god we speak in tongues but we do not know to what end we are praying in tongues we cry and we preach about prosperity and kingdom wealth and many people have become an embarrassment for the kingdom because they do not even know the purpose of prosperity we preach about marriage and relationship to what end if we are to be relevant in this generation and if we are to fulfill the agenda of the father then it's paramount that we understand that we are living in, in a system say after me a system so you see that you really are not a i don't care how many times you come for altar call listen listen let me correct something right now i don't care how many times you come out for altar call you truly are not a christian if you have not imbibed the value system of the kingdom to the point that jesus can be lord of your life can i tell you something there are two conditions to go to heaven write it one is that jesus is savior of your life let me tell you what it means to be savior to be savior means that you have accept the finished work of christ on the cross are you listening to me that you believe that he died for you and you died in him are you listening to me but that's not enough look up it's not enough for jesus to just be savior he must be lord of your life can i tell you something jesus being lord of your life is not by faith why do you call me lord lord and will not do your doing is what validates that he is lord so when you say jesus is savior he says yes that's true when he says, lord you are lord he says i'm watching i'm watching prove to me that i am lord by showing me how much you value me how much of my life is priority to you are you following me now there are many believers that do not have a priority if the things of the spirit are still a burden to you jesus is not yet lord hallelujah are you listening to me this is very important we have a generation of people who know jesus as savior and so you, we can do anything bribe in the name of jesus no fear of the lord go that's the command into cosmos and let me tell you something a true apostolic ministry i've said it a true apostolic ministry does not just seek to transform people are you listening to me you change people and influence systems this is the part of the church that the church has been so uninterested in. we do not think about the people beyond the church boundaries and so we have many superstars in church and the world does not even recognize our impact until we begin to step out and legislate as ambassadors of the kingdom then we are not going to be able to affect our world say amen, amen. and and there's no point talking about great grace and glory if we do not understand our mission in the kingdom so cosmos talks of what what is cosmos talks of the social system say after me the social system now i need you to understand that there is a tragedy on earth believers wake up there is a tragedy on earth what is the tragedy there is a system that's what we call the world system that's what we call babylon it started when cain 
built a city out of rebellion the bible says cain departed from the presence of god and there he built a city naming it after his son enoch and from that city activities were carried out without the supervision of the spirit christ was no longer king over that building i follow me and everywhere god begins to build zion satan also begins to build his city there is always a conflict of the city of our god the zion of our god and the world system the same thing happened in genesis 11 nimrod wanting to build babel can i tell you something the world is attempting to rebuild the tower of babel again and can i tell you who the workers are guess guess who the workers are many of us we are actively helping to build babel he said go to come and let us build a city whose top will reach the heavens and let us make a name for ourselves and there is a spiritual rebuilding of the tower of babel and the church does not understand because we have not trained people to understand the kingdom as a system we only see it as a religion that has to do with members coming to receive from pastors and then that's all but god is helping us and building us and equipping us to understand his system and how to rule and reign in this life there's no point talking about anointing and power and miracles and all of these things if we do not understand the system hallelujah do you realize that every day your mind is being influenced by something are you listening to me every day five minutes on air someone will influence millions of people immediately i was having a haircut and they were playing a very rubbish song and i saw one small boy he just stepped down from the chair and this boy was just dancing he was dancing and singing the song and do you know this boy there was no time when this boy sat down to cram that song do you realize that the things we know we almost don't take our time to learn it because in our environment are things that have been orchestrated to shape our minds and our ideologies are you following me now and many believers do not realize that these are mind control systems they control the way we behave to one another there are a few people empowered by satan who represent the government of darkness and according to the leadership of satan these people have mastered the art of creating gadgets creating everything that shapes the mind and the thinking pattern of people are you following me now someone sat down and developed the whole blackberry thing right now people who hit their head on the wall trying to ping one another you're just pinging pinging and you hit yourself and say oh right now you see people moving now i'm not saying these things are bad are you following me now i'm not saying they are bad i'm just telling you what is happening in the world you see somebody looks like a robot with wires all over his body this is for earphone this is for answering calls this is for picking this and wires all over and there's a spare one in case that one and pocket full of batteries and we're moving the system is shaping us shaping us to become what we are not aware of are you listening to me the system defines what we know defines our dress culture the system defines our vocabulary when they need the whole world to begin to speak a particular language all that they do is to find those who are influential why don't they invite you to advertise products do you know why it's not because you are not fine they need more than beauty they need what we call influence say after me influence and so what does um what does beckham have to do with indomie or something and you see they carry indomie and they draw football on it for how does that affect your eating indomie they they are listen 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 this is very important i need you to understand our text says go into all the world are you following me now and every time they want to ask call children outside and tell them who is your role model they will never mention one believer hallelujah 
it's amazing how you can exert enormous influence upon people and when we talk about the concept of kingdom influence in the church many people frown we call it carnality yet day and night do you realize that the influence of the world is so strong right now in many ministries they vote for the sermons that they preach on sunday so the pastor displays different sermons on their websites and then every member without discernment without everything just logs in and if for any reason uh, right now we do not understand the concept of price and process these are not languages that are they are, are friendly we have seeker friendly people friendly ministries once there's no ac people get angry you know why you didn't learn it because you see the thing is how many times do they give us light in nigeria for us to learn these things and so they began to on your phone it doesn't die easily and so all kinds of things there is a shaping and if church if we do not realize it we will become what we are not aware of one day you wake up to find out that your son is not what you gave birth to again hallelujah i wonder what the slang will now be after five years do you realize that the worldly songs that are written right now they are so spiritual they make no sense to you when you listen to them physically they use words that are not even in the lingua franca again in your english language hallelujah they write songs you don't understand because they know that you love them they encapsulate those songs with melodies that are from the realm of the spirit so that your spirit is drawn to them and you keep confessing those words we do not realize that these are mind control systems are you following me tonight many parents are influenced so right now there are certain parameters that must be in place if a man is 50 years old otherwise he will not fit into his environment and so we see our father suffering for nothing this guy is trying to build the third house everybody is dying in the house and he's strangling everybody because there is a system that has controlled his mind it used to be for young people but right now it's everybody are you listening to me mind control system there is a particular slang and language that if you cannot use in another community you do not belong so many of us force ourselves we browse day and night through our phone to learn the current lingua franca and we call it acclimatizing ourselves to babylon do you see how we are helping ourselves to rebuild the tower of babel that rebellious city so the gospel is not just preaching to get men born again are you listening to me the gospel is a mindset a value system that separates you from the world system and brings you to a point where from your life and your activity you demonstrate the lordship of jesus christ mazi prosper is here there's the entertainment industry you can ask him and he will tell you when he started how many churches insulted you how many churches call you an unserious person can i tell you something our concept of ministry must change our concept of ministry has been a man of god wearing suit and then you come and sit down and then a lady gives you water and someone will be admiring me here and say hey god oh, this guy is enjoying you see that's our concept of ministry that's our concept of ministry and so all our goal and our pray when we pray in tongues that's the picture we see and then the moment you get little honor you call one lady and say have you not seen what they are doing that's why we seek to give an orientation that this is not the definition of success are you listening to me the bible says that the fivefold will train the body that they will do the work of the ministry so when jesus says go into all the world where did he say systems the education as a system banking and finance as a system are you listening to me music art and culture because there are so many people that sense that the lord is calling them into the fashions ministry 
and the moment they come we men of god stand with our lack of ignorance and lack of understanding and alignment to kingdom things and we just kill them like eli when they are hearing the voice when god is calling samuel we will tell samuel to go back and sleep hallelujah Forbes, Forbes, hundred richest people. None of them, as I know, is a Christian who publicly acknowledges the Lordship of God. How do you like that? Now, don't say it doesn't matter because they are affecting our economy and they will cripple us to a point that we must abide by their terms. Do you realize that there are many companies that we seek to work in, we do not know the values of these companies? We are suffering and trying to work for them. And as we are working for them, guess what they are doing with your money? Guess. They are funding all kinds of things from terrorism to prostitution to doing. There are so many companies in this country that are the forefront of women trafficking and all kinds of things. And all we are thinking about because we will not give ear to understanding God's economic system and coming to a place of kingdom influence. All we are concerned is to get your 80,000 a month. And every time a voice rises to talk, Satan begins to wire the minds of the people to think all we are talking about is just prosperity and goodness and me and my wife and children. No. Are you following me tonight? Is, is God doing something to your mindset? If we don't take charge a time, do you realize that in this country right now, and the ambassador came over and he was just talking to me do you realize that glow and all of these companies if you want to do an advert or you want to work with them the moment you mention jesus you are out true or false come on answer me true or false most of the television programs that are held now there are lots of people who have written songs and have dramas and plays and things that will glorify jesus christ but the moment you bring it what happens People just kill it. They tell you at most, just say divine. Divine is okay. At least everybody knows it's not of this realm. And now, a lot of people are saying it doesn't matter. And while you're sitting down, God is raising in you to be a media mogul. You see yourself in dreams, owning TV stations. And the moment you want to move, people tell you, just read. Just calm down. It's okay to marry a pastor, 20 members, and move on. What do we think was, what was God's idea when Jesus came and died? what was in his mind many of us will get to heaven and i pray it doesn't happen but that we get to heaven and see how much we contributed in the advancement of satan's kingdom are you following me now and then when believers open universities we have a lot of Christians who are talking and speaking nonsense and saying, ah, these men of God, they are establishing universities for their personal gains. Are you not seeing what is happening in our university systems? Where students are not even interested in reading again. Everybody just wants to go. Just go. Sleep with the lecturer. Do, go. Get out. Get out of the university. When a student comes in, as he's holding his admission letter, he's already imagining himself at the convocation square. How you get there is none of your business. I just want to get out. Someone who has not held his first lecture is already crying and saying, I want. Because they understand that this is a pattern that has been put in the system to define success. And so they just want to pass through it. And they will do anything to get to it. And there are many believers who are preaching, who are jumping right here, while unbelievers are designing curriculums. Do you realize that there are very few believers that are writing books? The textbooks that we use in our classes that educate us for six years, you sit down under a mindset that has no honor for the kingdom. And at the end of it, you receive your certificate, but you are 60% Babylon. And 40% Zion. And it's with that mindset you step in. That mindset will choke the faith that you have. Such that when you come out, what you used to esteem as faith becomes foolishness. The moment you step out, there are certain things we honor. And we, I mean, when someone starts working, we are under pressure. 
so much pressure the moment you start working you earn 200,000 people start telling you please will you get a car buy a car your parents begin to mount pressure on you they say what is left you are working don't bring shame to us it's a system are you listening to me and we are that generation that will begin to question the things that have been the status quo are you listening to me i am provoking you to begin to question the things that have informed your mind because there are many of us who are falling down the ditch we inherited something from a true leader provokes you to begin to consider the foundation of the things that have informed your value system because at the rate at which we are going jesus christ is being strangled in every strata they want to strangle him until he comes out let me tell you how they are doing it look up right now the world is promoting associations and things that bring men to a neutral ground are you listening to me that's why football is being promoted in football nobody fights not on account of religion not anything i follow me now right now when a child is um a child has a right to leave his parents and even disown them in america i hope you know that and we're embracing it nicely another thing is what we call the credit system in our economy what a foolish and ungodly economic system let me tell you what the credit system is buy everything on credit look fine on credit buy a big house on credit and leave that's really what we call generational causes because right now there are many flamboyant people that we admire and many nigerians are walking lying claiming they marry. you bring your sister and say say you are my wife oh let's get this green visa say you are my wife you go out if you say you are not this and we drag people and we name all kinds of things one man married to 50 people because he wants to get visa and we are running to america do you know the disaster that is happening in america america is the country with the most debt in the world has about one i think 1.7 or 170 trillion us dollars they are leaving it for their the children the foolish children who don't go to schools again they are not doing anything the average child gets up and the next thing he knows is computer game in that computer game there is shooting and right now they do it 3d so that the child will be exposed to blood and violence and while the child sits down the next thing he looks at his younger brother and his mind has been controlled he flies from the younger brother and punches him when blood comes out he laughs because that's what has been trained in our children as a definition of a macho man welcome believers we are entering a truly new age and can i tell you something if we do not i hope you know our parents will die or leave us when this mindset matures it will be your turn you will be a glad father of three or five or ten children as you wish but let me tell you something there is a real system and it's important that we train our minds otherwise there is disaster on the way to happen hallelujah an average child grows and you see the child ask children what toy do you want me to buy for you what's the first thing they'll say who taught them who taught them and right now they've made it in such a way that when you shoot at least something comes out and the child gets happy he comes to look at you and just pours water on your face and he's laughing he's envisioning the day he'll hold the real one at 13 years there is a gang prepared by babylon that this child steps into do you realize the disaster that is happening believers wake up this is not about e and i this is about a matter of urgency this is what is in the heart of the father there is a need not only and those who have even taught about the kingdom all we teach is overcoming that means run away do you know where are you going to run to the bible says we are in the world jesus prayed a prayer for you if you do not know let me tell you the prayer jesus prayed for you he said father i pray that you don't bring them out of that system preserve them you are not going anywhere jesus has prayed for you already and the father has answered it it's in john 17. it's a prayer that had been answered before you were born you are not so running away in a sense of fleeing are you going to stop watching tv there are almost no decent films for you to entertain yourself with right now cartoons that used to be very enlightening right now cartoons are demonic you initiate your child your child looks at you 
wakes up you are sleeping and you wake up and you see your child holding a shoe and wants to hit your head he's trying to children are not good listeners but they are good imitators and so those graphic images have been so much a child at age two or three or four sits down on a laptop and all the pornographic sites have been paid for they are free and you want to download a message and they tell you for 25 dollars you know that's a christian website <laughs> am i challenging you many believers do not know this can i tell you satan has crippled our minds so that we do not understand the kingdom or we are not interested in it whether you are interested in it or not i bring you good news is coming there is a rebuilding of the tower of babel and if saviors do not rise out of zion to judge the mount of esau there will be catastrophe in the years that are coming the antichrist is not just a person the antichrist is a system there is a figure who will head that system but there is a system and is at work right now hallelujah you want to market granite oil you are putting a lady who is half naked the granite oil is a lady now for heaven's sake how does grant right now you want to work in the bank you are not pretty you're not getting a job i hope you know that graduate with first class keep your first class once you're not pretty and you're looking nice they look at you they don't hide it they examine you are you going to bring profit to the bank or not i've had the privilege to talk to a few bankers and some of the people you smile at as marketers are trading their eternal destiny for eighty-five thousand naira. there is shame on the church and we must arise we are here boasting of our cars boasting of many branches we are opening and we are not making any effect because we are not going into the world and so we are talking about a takeover generation this is why we need the anointing if we are talking of a year of great grace and glory we must not just run away from the system because the system will come and meet us the bible says a time will come when men will tell the mountain fall on us and the mountain will say i'm not falling anything so how many of us are interested in what i'm sharing this night the if you are not interested just pray to die quickly but if you are going to live in this nigeria it's happening faster how how about having someone who will receive the spirit of bezalel and design a computer that the logo is the cross how about somebody designing an operating system that when you switch it on it says for god so love the world everybody must buy it it's, it's configured in the software you can't change it aren't you realizing the things that are happening and our concept of christianity is ba 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 and a few superstars touch a few people we fall down and the world is laughing when the owner of mtv was asked a question i'm provoking you he said we hear that you influence the mind of children from age 7 to 15 he laughed he said we don't influence them we own them let me tell you the implication i know you are 30 years old but the problem is this by the time those you do you know those children are growing and god is speaking to you and saying a school and you are saying no a church that's my concept of ministry god is saying a school that you offer additional one of the visions of e and i will look forward to times when we will have a primary school who have schools and part of the programs we introduce to the curriculum will introduce a program called koinonia and spiritual growth every child must offer it that you teach your child you hold ten thousand and give him one thousand and say son every time you get money according to the economy of heaven you tithe watch me do it as a father and you say put your own and the child does it do you realize that there is need to invade the minds if you forget about invading the minds of the people you have not changed them i don't care how many times they fall and stand up you must invade their minds you are glorious so glorious in your ways this is what we call the new revival the revival is not going to happen like many people think there are many men of god who will be shocked at the revival that is coming 
because let me tell you who are the revivalists the revivalists will no longer be those who are boasting and making themselves god on stage that you must come and answer to them to get the counsel of the spirit sorry for them god is navigating another path he is raising men who he will equip by the spirit you see our concept of preaching is going to change that you are god will send you to the system mazi is here he has entered certain places are you following me now and everywhere as he's preaching he is where he is today on account of the kingdom if we were only to compromise many television channels will carry him pick him and use him but on account of the kingdom he has made up his mind that he will live by the value of the kingdom do you realize that if an influential man says god bless you that's enough to bring more salvations than one evangelistic meeting imagine michael jackson just saying i love god not even the lord not even jesus just i love god so god wants to give you a company that before you start you gather everybody and say let's lift up our voice and bless the one who made it possible for us today it is your company whoever is not interested can find one. when he goes out and darkness covers the earth he will come back And God, this is the real revival. Saviors shall come out of Zion and they shall judge the mount of Esau. Are you prepared for the things that God is doing? This is a time where you sense a prophetic call upon your life. You know that you are working strongly in the prophetic. But every time you look at the boutique and you think of suit, God will say, no way. I'm sending you to the navy and you say lord navy with the prophetic grace god said that's none of your business the mission is follow me just go and then we'll need more people more prophets and apostles in the police so that when there are terrorists hiding by prophetic insight you get up and tell them. listen listen this is god's strategy for invading the world system there are some messages that are attacked strongly by the forces of darkness. God is raising many of us. Let me tell you something. The way I'm dressed like this, there are certain circles in this world that will not receive me. They'll say, just go out. And so God will say, all right, no problem. Gentlemen, come. And God gives you an understanding and gives you a value system. You see, that's why all this quarrel that we are doing and shouting in church and trivializing a lot of things is because we do not understand the agenda of God. And so God causes you to be a millionaire. Hallelujah. And when God causes you to be a millionaire, what happens? Because it's, it's part of the life of the poor to beg. When they come without invitation, you have people and you begin to teach them the things of God. Cecilia Ibru, during her thanksgiving, had a number of unbelievers coming they didn't come because they love god they they came because they need her can you make yourself so competent that the world must need you and then you can give them your terms hallelujah when you're walking somewhere you you suffer in school you study for years with all the strike the moment you graduate and they are giving jobs they just call and the manager says he wants to see you privately and he says sir i fear the lord he says so what are you doing in my office go to church and he says sir i'm, I'm serious i fear the lord but because we are desperate i see a mystery servants are on horses while sons princes walk afoot and the man says if you're interested in your job this is the part of the story we don't say when we're giving thanksgiving testimony in church Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Tare has done me well. And then everybody dances. Praise the Lord. I graduated with third class and without interview, I got a job. Calm down. Tell us the whole story. What happened? If it's the favor of God, let's know it's the favor of God. I can tell you there are many people who have compromised the values of the kingdom. And we men of God cannot speak because they are bringing tithe to us. So if you speak, they will stop bringing the tithe. No more suit. 
because we have trained ourselves to depend on the sheep that we have been called to save for our prosperity and would not run to him i would lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help conquering cosmos there is a system that is antichrist and so everyone must come to a point where jesus is lord of your life and that everywhere you are he is because you have one passion you have one mission you have one goal there are many of us right now who can start different pages on facebook that glorify jesus christ i remember one time a gentleman sent one very nasty message on facebook and i saw a jimmy researching scriptures when i saw him lining two or three bibles i knew that gentleman was in trouble as me got the verses i went on facebook and addressed that gentleman how many times have people sent their thoughts and then you're on facebook and you see someone write something against your god and you just well when you're a rome behave like the romans do this passive non-offense christianity will not advance the kingdom are you listening to me when you write a song they edit it and they say if they must take you to big brother nigeria remove this remove that remove this don't you have values say after me i have a value system everybody say it inside and outside i have a value system we are not a bunch of hopeless people waiting for the world to give us values are you listening to me we have values We have a goal that Jesus be enthroned. Be honest with me. Look up. Maybe, okay, our minds have been changed here. How many of our parents go to work because they are seeking an opportunity to let the kingdom of God come in that company? How many? When did you ever see your father and your mother get up and say, as I step into this office, Lord, salary or no salary, let your kingdom come. You will never do that when you are poor and broke. Are you listening to me we need men and women who love god more than money let me tell you something for as long as the church is not empowered enough the world will keep baiting us with offers we cannot resist they will bait you and they will make you to bow to bear and you will bow before you know it because the vicissitudes of life will strangle you you suddenly wake up and see three children saying daddy are you say where did you come from they say you are our daddy <laughs> when when did all this happen suddenly you realize that he was faster than you ever thought a time will come when they will attempt to strangle I, have you not heard that nations will rise against nations and kingdoms systems there will be a real clash and god is preparing you and i hope you realize that satan will not cross his legs when he sees you being committed with the wealth of the kingdom to silence the activity of babylon i look forward to certain people who will become real kingdom financiers that you are so blessed the next thing is the moment you hear that there is one who is singing unto the glory of god you come and say we're, we're giving you a record label you are producing we are giving you the best sound quality and we have access to all the marketers every radio station in this country must hear that he is lord how many of us are that empowered when we start doing a five minutes talk show on nta we celebrate it and we dance and we jump the remaining 23 hours how many minutes someone someone comes up and speaks nonsense you change channels you don't have any other channel to change so you listen and while you are not around you are busy looking for money walking till night your child is there gullible absorbing everything they are giving and then when you come back say boy what did you learn guess what it's not a memory verse he will recite to you we need to true leaders think of prosper posterity many of us say i'm too young do you realize while you are saying oh god when will my wedding come god is uh -uh. when will the change come are you ready to change the generation you want to raise otherwise we will raise another casualty god had to intercept in our generation otherwise we would have become like our parents 
hallelujah we we'll soon pray but i'm redefining the concept of ministry and the kingdom how that we need to arise and conquer cosmos no no me i'll just calm down quietly i don't want to become an international figure i don't want pride take the world give me jesus really by the grace of god we are involved in paying the school fees of many people and taking care of the welfare of many people there are a number of people in this place who have been disowned by their families on, a, on account of declaring the lordship of jesus christ over their lives and we have a bunch of believers who pray in tongues share the grace and leave those people what happens to them when they backslide and go into the world we are the first to open our mouths and say you see them they are not firm in their faith what do we think governs these people when people are hungry and there's no food the lady is crying and somebody is telling her only bow to bell you are suffering too much and when they come to us and say sorry there's i i need food to eat what happens we just say sorry uh, i wish i have something to help you with there's not much but i pray that the lord who sent me will bless you i release upon you an anointing for favor and then the lady gets up and while she's trekking from koinonia to go to her house someone intercepts and she's tired and the person says i was wondering if you would want a ride and say well it's just a ride don't you realize that satan tempts you at the point of your desperation church if we do not rise up satan will leave us preaching on pulpit and be destroying everybody a time will come when demons will sit down in churches mega churches and demons will be the members and the ministers are busy working for god they are out of alignment with his program and his system we are working building branches and satan says please keep working distract them and many people are coming because all that we focus on is membership oh we are just trying make make sure they are happy give them fun make sure they are working well if anybody complains of headache run with first aid miracle no just make it happen let them be warm and comfortable and while that is happening satan is invading our system you buy bonds before you eat it you see a writing that you must read you look at it and satan has been honored how many of you make bonds and make puff puff every time you think of putting something and say something like in christ uh do not it doesn't sound fashionable isn't it that's the problem that's exactly what i've tried to communicate our mindsets have been worked upon but if i call it if i call it um x omega do not how about that what does that mean to you with respect to the kingdom This is deliverance this is a deliverance service this night this is a deliverance service where the lord is helping us are you listening to me the greatest deliverance is that you align yourself with kingdom reality i hope as we are laughing we are getting something go ye into all the systems did he say run away go ye go ye into the media aaron and when someone comes to plan events while you talk to the person you say i was wondering um tell me your perception about life and the things of the kingdom and then you get to talk with the person i look forward to times when we are about to mix to make a speech and then we speak and say now on to the king the whole world is listening to you millions of people on to the king eternal they don't like what you are saying but your competence will make room for you and while you are reading the speech people are suddenly getting healed cancers are disappearing it's not an anointed service but the kingdom is there and since the kingdom is there all the attributes of the kingdom must show forth and the moment you are speaking the prince of dubai or somebody comes to meet you and you look at him and tell him you've been having a challenge in your family what's the problem and he says how did you know say okay let's i'm inviting you over for lunch and you have the money to pay for his lunch 
then you invite him over for lunch and while you speak to him he gives you an opportunity to run a crusade see friends do you love god you must embrace his system this is the paradigm that i seek to bring for us tonight if this is your mindset then god will give you the anointing if this is your mindset then you will have the charisma and the influence do not reject the influence of the kingdom realize that god is bigger than eni say after me god is bigger than eni say god is bigger than koinonia god is even bigger than you your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns above all above all lord your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns above all I never knew that I would be an entrepreneur outside of being a minister and God shifted my mindset when he made me know that if he makes you an entrepreneur it's also ministry are you realizing there are people who I have access today not because I'm a preacher but on, a, on account of offering products and services that they need, that they cannot provide. How many of you have songs that are locked up in your spirit that the nations need to hear? How many of you have visions? How many drama ministries are quietly lying down here that have been kicked out from churches? How many of you have voices that have not been received or embraced? No one will want to sponsor you. How many kingdom financiers are hearing the cry of the spirit? How many people are sensing a call to go into the military and we are preaching them out of it? How many people are sensing a call to be politicians? It's not like they want money. Something in there is a restlessness. It's an alignment of destiny. I bring you a message. There is a mandate upon us. Go ye into cosmos. Let there be media giants who will arise, who will not only snap for Koinonia, but one day will stand and snap in AIT. Moguls who will be voices. I look forward to times when they will interview you, when UN will call you, when UNESCO will call you. UNESCO will call the White Dolphin Foundation and say, what solution? That's when your anointing will get into work. Your prophetic grace, your apostolic grace is useless when you cannot permeate the system. useless i look forward to times when you will have why are we leaving the sheratons why are we leaving the 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 lemeridians and all of these things these are not people that are godly i look forward to times when you will have a hotel and in your hotel there's a rule no prostitutes you bring any prostitutes we kick you out of the hotel whether or not you believe it let me tell you the excellence in your hotel will force people to say no problem let's just come and when they come the only programs they can watch is cnn tbn your channel your own channel where jesus alone will be glorified i'm sharing with you a piece of my passion this is what i see my ultimate goal is not to stand on the pulpit and preach my ultimate goal is to be on the frontier of prophecy to use the apostolic grace he has given me to invade the system every one of us has a defined system arise generals go ye into that system and begin to be agents of national transformation do the masters do the phd if it will take you go go into the system gain the access and enter that system and introduce the value system make the universities build them build the secondary schools build the primary schools build the libraries go ahead and train yourself get a master's in cinematography get whatever you get buy or open a studio name it rafa studios he reigns until we are ready to invade the system this way then forget about what we call christianity
this puts you in a sense of responsibility are you following me now so when satan brings sickness you see why god will want to heal you because he knows that you are purpose or mind to be relevant you didn't learn how to cook you think god gave it to you so that your husband will appreciate you is he the only person on earth there is a mandate bigger than your husband that your restaurant becomes the best in Zaria. That you, your excellence is compelling. Many of you have come today because of the prayers and because of the excellence. Now that you are here, you can hear this. Can you receive the anointing and take this back to the system? Many of you need to go back when you're on break. Your parents have primary school. They say, come and be the principal. You have graduated before service. And you laugh and say, me, God forbid, I got first class. Are you out of your mind? Do you not realize that there is a goyi? The goyi is bigger than your personal desire. Your job was never supposed to finance your, your life. I've been criticized for years for misleading people. Let me tell you something. If all you have as your mindset is job, you will never prosper. Satan will keep dragging us go ye the true spirit of evangelism is beyond a three day crusade the true spirit of evangelism is a takeover spirit it's a true evangelistic and an apostolic spirit you will not many of us just stand you just talking where your your all kinds of things stand near someone and be spitting saliva on him brother this and that and that i want to tell you there's a heaven i want to tell you there's a hell i want to tell you jesus is lord you are talking with the person for 10 minutes you don't know his name the person is worried with a challenge and he says brother do you know what has happened to me in this life i need you to know that i have not eaten for two days he said well i bring you a message that is greater than food i need you to know that there's an eternity but what are we saying that's why we teach you about the principles of the kingdom not for us to buy lincoln navigator and when i drop from it they say man is this the president of eni a young man so rich like this to, to what end is that let me tell you i've been delivered i have been thoroughly delivered by the spirit of god i understand what the mandate of the kingdom is and when you are on your heels god will bring the members god is tired of sending members to ministries where we punish them and all that we do we create an extra room inside and then jamfa is the one inside this is a prophet then when i preach i charge your spirit and then you enter there and then as you are entering the first thing you encounter is the basket according to your problems let me tell you something there is a shift coming in our concept of church and ministry there are many people who have torn the kings those who are supposed to reign in life and has made them animals you come to church you don't know anything about the ways of god all you know is let's go to church they serve communion to what end you do not know i shall not die but live to what end i don't know you are awakening the giant in you to go to where we teach on prosperity with no vision. We teach on relationship with no vision. Valentine's Day is when? 14th. Many of us are warming up to be misled again for another one year until you understand that you are in, that's why I bless God like I know I, there's an announcement we we'll put here. There are visionary ministries that have programs that are a subset of the kingdom. This is not a movement. This is the message. The kingdom. We are going to pray conquering cosmos i bring you a message tonight that in this season of great grace and glory you have an assignment if you open a church and only five members come for one year close it and open a business where they come to buy something start selling and preaching when they come you can go back I'm tired of people who are not moving at the at the at the things of god you sit down there how many people come to beer palace your church is near a beer palace you are seeing them coming and they are paying millions you see 70 or 90 people people are queuing finish drinking and go out now and they are waiting and you are there shouting ringing bells up and down nobody's coming to your church why don't you act it is how they come is not an issue attract them attract them there are many of you that don't believe in praying in tongues you didn't even believe in jesus christ 
the only thing you believe in, in good is good music and when you add that the worship team is good you say let me come and check out there are many of you who the reason why you came is you like a sense of you just hear that there are people inside and koinonia even has overflow is it really let's come and see it doesn't matter what brought you welcome that's the point so we use every means given to attract you and when you come the sword of the spirit is already rotating around your head and when it lands it it divides it cuts the soul the marrow everything and brings out the life in you friends there is a burden upon you that only you have been set aside to achieve and to accomplish i bring you a message we are very serious people tomorrow we are going to be having a leaders workshop we are not just thinking of how to advance e and i know this is just for the leaders in the house every ministry every true ministry must have a vision our vision is not just salvation there is something we have an impute to the body there is a unique impute that you must find that you give the body if you do not have it you don't have a ministry hallelujah so it's time for you to arise every time we talk of arise many of us we just imagine ourselves going out from a well and sitting inside a gym uh -uh. arise means wake up to your responsibility the purpose of rights is for responsibility you know your rights in christ so that you can perform your kingdom responsibility you sit down and your roommate is speaking vulgar languages you talk to, don't insult the person but you talk to the person in love and tell the person do you realize that your words have power don't just say do you know god hates talking bad you have not ministered to the person i'm stirring up the real spirit of evangelism in us this is the true spirit of evangelism by god's grace we'll be announcing some of our evangelical packages that we have but right now it's time for us to pray and we are going to pray and ask the lord to help us and grant us the grace the influence the power the anointing the understanding for there is a rebuilding of the tower of babel and the sons of jacob must arise and judge the mount of esau rise up on your feet rise up on your feet inside and outside go ahead and pray in the spirit pray in the spirit over this word that you have heard your generation will bless you go ahead and pray the entrance of thy word give it light and understanding go ahead and pray that's why you came when we call you a champion you really are a champion pray in the spirit save your salaries out of zion and they shall judge the mount of Esau. go ye into cosmos take over take over take over cosmos take over the media take over take over the pulpit take over the universities take over with the mindset that he is king he is lord this is the takeover generation Arise, O generals, go ye into cosmos, go ye into the media, 
Go ye into the business world. Go ye. Go ye. Set up the restaurants. Offer products and services that will attract many. Go to the schools. The Lord is calling the values of the kingdom. The spirit of God is not in us just to do church. Go to the embassies. Go into the political scene. He is calling. There is an anointing in the military, in the navy, in the air force. Oh, there is an anointing. Save us shall arise out of Zion and they shall judge the mount of Esau. The agenda is beyond money, it's beyond marriage. Come on, pray. You are not ordinary. There is an apostolic spirit upon you. Rise up, kingdom financiers, media giants, Facebook, Twitter, to go. The Lord is calling and throne Christ. Music ministers, arise. Businessmen, arise. Scholars, doctors, professors, arise by the Spirit. Diplomats, hear the sound of the Spirit. I bring you an apostolic call that the systems of this world will come and align with the systems of our God. Rise to a point of influence. Develop yourself. Add value. Until the world cannot resist you. Come on, pray. Business apostles, business prophets, IT, IT moguls, the next Zuckerbergs, the next Steve Jobs, rise up IT giants, the next doctors, the next lawyers, the next presidents, the next governors, for the sake of his majesty, rise up. The next family life coaches, time to arrive. Go ye into cosmos. Give them a mentality. Give them a mentality. Give them a mentality. The value of the kingdom. Upholding his majesty. Upholding his majesty. I challenge you, arise, the seed of glory is in you, the seed of greatness, you may not look like it, arise. We are the saviors, on one hand, we are praying in the spirit, on another hand, we are taking over cosmos. Pray the Spirit, generate energy, hallelujah, I know I'm not ordinary, I know I'm not ordinary, the grace of God, bringing me to a point of influence, where I will declare to the nations that Jesus is Lord. God is giving ideas. God is restoring dreams. God is putting new passions. Let the dream come alive. There is a cause to live for. There is a cause to live for. Beyond your job, there is a cause to live for. The training is worth it. The building is worth it. You 
power the light the definition of darkness is the world without you arise take over generation go ye into cosmos take over channel O take over MTV take over the internet take over the internet open websites open blog pages and throne him as Lord open schools open libraries institutions my generation will hear the voice of the king even in my life my generation will hear the voice of his majesty come on pray you are registering yourself for greatness by the spirit hallelujah Lift your hands and lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Take everything, oh God. Come on, pray now, everybody. Take everything. Take everything. My life belongs to you. Take the talent, oh God. Take the talent. Take the gift. Take everything. Pray from the depths of your heart and say, Lord, in any way, in any way, I have allowed other things to take your place in my life. Tonight I repent. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. Pray from the depths of your heart. Many of us have never given our hearts to the Lord. You've gone to church. You have a Christian name. But you've never given your heart to the Lord. It's not enough to see power. It's not enough to see miracles. Hallelujah. I'm going to make a very serious altar call right now. I don't want you to sit down thinking about it because I know there are people. There are people here tonight, inside and outside. Probably you followed someone and you came. Probably you are struggling with a sickness or a terminal disease. The doctor has given you the letter and said you have a few months to live. It all starts with Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. There are two sets of people I'm going to call. And they will all come at once. Those who have never made a decision. Don't deceive yourself tonight. I don't care whether you're a pastor, whether you're a pope. You've never given your heart to Jesus. To say, Lord, I, I surrender my life truly. And then there's the second category. Those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of lying to myself. I know that this thing I'm doing is not Christianity. I need a fresh start. People have told me it's all right. I want to make my way right. Yes, you have come out once. You even prayed for. You even fell down under the anointing. But you are saying, Lord, I'm rededicating my life tonight. Those two categories of people, as I, as I count one to ten, I like you to run like you are running away from fire right now, inside and outside. One, two, run like you are running for escape. Run like like there is fire burning, and it's a matter of urgency. Forget about your friends. Forget about who is looking at you or who is not looking at you. This is the key to a glorious destiny. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. I don't care what you have done. 
I don't care what you have done. I don't care who is castigating you. Jesus is ready to give you a new beginning tonight. Everything I give to you withholding nothing. Don't sit back there when the Holy Ghost is asking you to come out. God is still telling me that he's talking to people. God is still speaking to people. Many people inside. Many people outside. Forget about your friend. This is a destiny decision. I surrender all. I surrender all to you. Everything. Those of you in front here. Yeah. Begin to open up your heart to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Cry out your heart. Say, Lord, enough is enough. With holding nothing. Come on, sing it one more time. I surrender. I give to you with holding nothing. With holding nothing, will you give your heart away? That's what God is asking you to those of you in front. Will you give your life away so he can use you? Will you give your life away so you can use me? Lord, I give myself away. Pray. Don't let your tears stop you. You may cry, but pray. So you. One more time, everyone. I give myself away. Hey, 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 hey. I give myself away. So you can use me. I see some of you crying. I see some of you under heavy demonic oppressions. But let me tell you, this is the best decision you have made tonight. It's never too late to start. I don't care what you have done. Listen. Listen. Listen to me. I want you to know, those of you here, it is never too late with the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He won the victory. He gave you the victory on the cross. Jesus said it is finished. There are many things happening in your life. And the solution is not to go and try to solve it some other way. You must make up your mind and say from today. Hallelujah. You must be determined from your heart. That's how it starts. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Come and worship with me. Hallelujah. You've won it all for me. You have won it all for me. Just that part. One more time. Hallelujah. 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 You have won the victory. your hands those of you in front I'm about to lead you to a very serious prayer you're not reciting a poem 
We are about to depopulate the kingdom of hell right now. Never forget this day for as long as you live. Some of you are rededicating your lives. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. I don't care what category. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I surrender my life to you. I repent of my old ways. I accept the free gift of eternal life. I receive it in my spirit. And I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life from today. I go forward ever and backward never. Satan, stay away from my life. I've made my choice. Jesus is my savior. I've made my choice. Jesus is my Lord. Father, preserve these ones in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let this not be an emotional decision. Let it be a sincere decision from the depth of your heart. And I break the power of sin over your life. The weight that doth easily beset you. I crush it right now in the name of Jesus. I release you. The righteousness of God is at work in your life. And for those of you who have come sick. I like you to relax and watch the mighty one step into your life. Hallelujah. Now, in one minute, you will come back. We're about to start the healing session right now. So please just walk this way. Follow the ushers. They'll just have your details and you come back quickly and join us in the service. Celebrate them, everybody. <clears throat> Celebrate them, Koinonia. Young and old alike. Lift your hands, everybody, and say, Visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Pray in one minute, everyone. Lift your hands and say, Lord, the time has come. I'm tired of this sickness. The time has come. I need a prophetic word that will take me to the next level of my life. Please pray. Pray and say, Lord, visit me. Visit me. Please, ushers, be fast with them. Be fast with them so that they can return back. Everyone begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Just begin to pray in one minute. Nete prata kata bala da baba baba baba, rakata prata kata bala da bas ke prata shikata, rende kata bala da. Hallelujah. 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 There is nothing we can do without you. Jesus, reveal yourself in a mighty way. Let the sick be healed, O oh God. So many people are here trusting God for all kinds of miracles, breakthroughs, marriages, jobs, healings and deliverances. Lord, we thank you for that which you will be doing. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sorry about the congestion. Um, protocol and ushers, please walk together to make everything fast. Hallelujah. Before we start the healing session, I just want to do something very quickly. It's Mike's birthday. Come here, Mike. Hallelujah. I told him I was going to give him a surprise. Hallelujah. Celebrate him. 
a lovely music director. Hallelujah. Mike, we love you. God bless you. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Ask the Lord to make him better than he is. Very faithful worker. Pray and bless him. We speak over your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will never be small. We speak over your life. You will do mighty things. Because of you, the worship team will step into a greater dimension. Hallelujah. I hear in my spirit greatness, greatness, greatness. The Lord is bringing you into prophetic seasons of greatness. This new season is a greatness, is a, is a level of greatness and prosperity. You will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you. The Lord is determined to do it. Bless his hands, O oh God. May this be so in his life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands. The power of God is strong in this place. Lord, we give you praise. Visit us, O God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit us by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let your healing virtue, let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my God, help me. Just play the keyboard for me and then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way. Instrumentalist, let's work together now. Hallelujah. Please hurry up as soon as you get down your name. Just return. There will be a very mighty impartation in this place hallelujah not deliverance impartation God is going to be moving in a very strong way and is going to be bringing strong impartation upon people it's going to be a wild fire of the spirit hallelujah strings please Exalted high above the worship of the people of the year, I see the Lord. I see. He's the Lamb upon the throne. Please everyone lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. Listen. Listen please. The spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord, please don't stop playing are in this place this is a very very prophetic moment now the lord is going to be moving from inside and outside and he's going to be separating certain people this is not deliverance although that can happen this is a heavy impartation the weight of god is about to mantle people in very strong ways hallelujah please lift your hands Father, I pray in the name 
of the Lord Jesus all those who belong to this category in the name that is above all names lift your hands my God Lord at the count of three let there be a wild move of the spirit one two three shake it outside bring them out bring them out touch an impartation of fire let there be a separation separate them oh God separate them oh God outside the power of God is falling now. Outside is hitting men right now. Like a tornado. Outside, outside. There are angels outside. The power of God is falling like a wildfire. A separation a separation take it take it take it take it take it it's a separation a wild fire let it engulf them oh god let it burn let the coal from the throne let the coal from the throne let it come upon visitors lord those who are visiting in koinonia may they take the fire now May the visitors take the fire now. So there are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow at the back, the overflow at the back outside, the overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling. The overflow at the back, outside. The fire of God is falling. There's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army rising up yeah. to break every chain break every chain break every chain there's an army rising up, come on. There's an army rising up. Yeah. There's an army rising up. Shake it, take it, take it, take your hands God is not done yet I told you there will be a visitation listen at the count of three many people will enter visionary experiences right now vision vision one two three take it take it vision vision take it take it vision I open up prophetic realms take it take it Visions, visions, visions. Let it, let it, let it. Step into realms of visions, prophecy, visions, prophecy. I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions, visions. Look at me. Look at me. Take it now. Take it. 
in this row an angel is walking in this row this row now now this row take it 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 now There's an army rising up. There's an army rising. They are rising up. To break every chain. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. Gande la kata te kata. Rakata pande brende keta. Sopro te pente ke. Rekete skete. Rekete. 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 Rekete te te. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break change. They will break every chain, break every chain, they will break every chain. There is a road that the power of God is moving outside. There is a road outside. It will start with a lady. There is a lady right now under the power of God and it will follow to that road. Open the floodgates of heaven, O oh God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto preteketeteja. Repeteketeteva. Som preteketa la ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Sarah, the 
Lord is giving me the name of someone, Sarah. Sarah. Just leave them, don't worry. Don't, don't scatter what God is doing. Hallelujah. God is bringing deliverance to your family. Hold my hands. It ends now. Now! 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 Be delivered. I cast that devil. I cast that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We will have a visitation tonight. Lift your hands. I want to call spirits that are responsible for marital delay. Every spirit wife, every spirit husband, many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you. Some of you are already out. You came out for impartation. Lift your hands. At the count of three, the fire of the spirit will be separating men. Every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three. I want you to shout the name Jesus. Lord, as they shout Jesus, I expose every devil and it leaves them forever. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Be free now. Now. I call spirits. I call spirits. Marital delay. I call spirits. Every marital delay. I curse you. I open doors of marriages now. Doors of marriage be open. Every spell, every enchantment, every act of divination. Right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire. On fire, on fire now. I challenge altars. I challenge thrones. I challenge spells. We break every chain. 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 Break every chain. Break every chain. Let her go now. Go. Let her go now. Go. Be free. Lay your hands on your stomach. God is setting you free. The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. It's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 come. Please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, is lift your hands where you are. 
visit her now oh god now by the power of the holy ghost i cast that wicked spirit in the name of jesus listen those of you here just lift your hands lift your hands at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be a wild move of the spirit because i see a lot of demonic oppressions are you ready now one two three let the power of god move move right now move right now move right now i cause every power i cause every power bring them in Let her go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? At times like this, she does. This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan, let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. Out, out, Kate Paratapa. I return her back to sanity. Every madness out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness out, out. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you every altar speaking against everyone tonight. It will catch fire this night in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Liver, stand up, stand up and follow me. Stand up by yourself and follow me. Stand up, come, follow me. Stand up, walk. Shake it, come, come. Come on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. I hear the chains falling. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. At, look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady huh? look at are you seeing for meeting look at the things that the devil has done bastardize this lady's life look at me what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. what's your name Lester. say Jesus. Jesus say I am fine she literally ate her mouth and injured it like that look at you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say, I am fine. I'm fine. Say, I am fine. I'm fine. It never returns to you again. <laughs> Stretch your hands and say, it's over. <laughs> this deliverance is over. <laughs> if there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Please take her child. 
this is I'm seeing witchcraft the Lord is showing me witchcraft people will rise in the family when they get to a point something hits them down and that's the end of no matter what happens this is what the Lord is showing me but the Lord is going to bring deliverance please lift your hands because this is I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft my God and my King let this thing end right now because this thing is not just with you alone it's with your family members my God let it end now let it end now even to your husband let her go in the name of Jesus Christ out of her out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk. Huh? It's chalk, writing. As in his writing. Is he a teacher? A lecturer. He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him. And we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now I must not see God must not show me what is happening to her husband for him to be delivered I hope you know that the Word of God is potent enough to deliver the person you understand but God does these things as a sign and a wonder hallelujah a family is about to be delivered right now in the name of the Lord Jesus a family is about to be delivered right now be delivered now I'm not speaking out now I hear the chains falling two of you come are you related come 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 two of you yes what's your relationship eh is your boss you are learning to sew in his place don't laugh I don't mean love relationship I mean what's your relationship Huh? because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you suddenly are you getting my point now God is just delivering people out let her go our uh, ushers you are still not exempted be doing your work and be sensitive anything can happen to you be doing your work and be very very please everybody be sensitive hallelujah I'm going to pray for you you will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus hold your hands together there's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. It's true. There's everybody. It's not like every. This is death. This is delay marriage. La Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me, do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Out!
Something's moving, something's changing. Feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. over your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase, mighty increase coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken. This is a cause of hardship. In the name of Jesus, let her go. I release her and her family. Out! Out! That cause of hardship. Out! The Lord is bringing increase for your father. I'm seeing traditional things. These are habal things I'm seeing in a shrine. The Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family lord confirm your word i've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of jesus this is your baby please give somebody hold the baby take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus this garment of shame go be set free be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Eunice 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 Lord is ministering to me. A lady called Eunice. Who is that? Please, if it's your name or someone related, we have to save time. Eunice. Gabriel. 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 Gabriel.
I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. 221. 221. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digits. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest, and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come on. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. Is that the only thing you do? Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? It's a man in Kano. Uh, what? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. Work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind to stop playing games. From tonight, I'm a genuine child of God. Women, out of his life. Every spirit of immorality lost and every related thing i cost you be free my god will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in jesus name why are you here why are they here what is eh? all of you are eunice is she married There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy, it's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you, nobody cares, nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this in away. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal. We have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. The Lord is not even talking about you. He's talking about your elder ones. I've seen them.
It's because it's the same thing that is happening there. I've taught you people. Bring out. Lord, let it be over now. Lay your hands on my hands. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. What is happening to you is happening to her. At the same time. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beautiful ashes. It's the same thing that is happening to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Outside, I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, all the children that have been buried, the blood, Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Deliverance. Every altar. The children that have been buried. I command the earth. Share ye the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance. Massive deliverance. Now, now, I'm seeing snakes, I'm seeing snakes, all kinds of snakes, all kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now, they catch fire now. Every serpent, every devil. I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens. By the anointing of the Spirit. For the Spirit of the Lord. Tonight is upon me. I challenge you. I command an exodus. An exodus. An exodus. you will hear testimonies they will carry the dead bodies of men those who are found they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go I command the vengeance of God let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine 
let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Come on, lift your hands and worship. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. You have won it all for me. Hallelujah. Everyone who is sick, lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come out, but lay your hands something miraculous will happen in this place right now wherever you are lay your hands some you're laying your hands but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands just lay your hands on your chest hallelujah now listen listen the moment i pray for you the power of god is already healing people right now check yourself the moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you maybe not everybody just run out and come and stand here there will be an explosion of miracles you must celebrate what God is doing who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established hallelujah lay your hands now and while Jesus was teaching the power of God was present to heal the Bible says and when the evening was come they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed please take it serious this is a miracle service we don't fake it in this place a miracle is about to happen as I begin to command please check yourself start doing what you could not do this is the point where your faith is needed hallelujah in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit and Lord I pray right now as I begin to declare I want you to shout a loud amen miracles are already happening in the name of Jesus blind eyes be open now blind eyes every eye condition be healed now be healed now every kind of deafness complete or partial deafness be healed now be healed now God is touching people peptic ulcer be healed now be healed now peptic ulcer Peptic ulcer, you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now. That's ulcer being healed. God is healing ulcer. Ulcer, you will feel fire burning on your chest. Ulcer is being healed right now. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast. The right breast. Lump in the right breast is being healed now lump is being healed now i cast that spirit i cast that spirit by the prophetic word this lady is going to start coughing things out 
she's going to start coughing things out right now she will start coughing things out hallelujah hallelujah migraine headache every kind of migraine be healed now be healed now be healed now every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem i command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connected leave now in the name of jesus there are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach i cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil i don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from november last year you don't need to come out from november last year you've only seen your period twice in the name of the lord jesus i restore order to your body now i restore order the power of god is moving to this effect i restore order now now hallelujah please begin to check yourself begin to check yourself a tooth problem has been healed i give you the praise lord a toothache tooth problem serious tooth problem the lord is healing it right now right now right now right now lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now i really want to conserve time I'm just thinking since pastor Jake is here we can lay hands faster on the sick do I need to call the sick to come out is that a good idea answer now let's work together because I know there are people you are still not satisfied okay please and please if you've been healed just stay back especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time and then a few others if you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God, please come out and line up. Healing Thank you, Jesus. Rain Worship rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Brought, who brought our daddy he came on his own he came on his own what's wrong sir difficult in walking difficult in walking your leg what happened sir I just feel, one day I just feel like they are past me I can't quit. your leg is weak I'm going to pray for you daddy and Jesus will heal you right now hold my hand sir don't worry just sit down Thank you, Jesus. 
the power of God will start moving your leg Lord thank you for healing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I curse that spirit you see something happening to your leg you're feeling something happening to your leg right yes the power of God is moving thank you Jesus thank you Jesus in the name of the Christ of God daddy look at me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ stand up come 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 help him help him this is stroke this is stroke in the name of Jesus I curse it I curse it I curse it sir at the count of three lift up both of your hands one two three no, just lift your hands lift your hands that stroke hand I curse it in the name of Jesus daddy try walking come hold my hands follow me come come look at me look at me come Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Are you seeing the power of God now? only as God healed you daddy God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten everything the palmer worm has eaten because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October they would have buried you first week of October this is what the Lord is showing me but in the name that is above all names four years, four years now for four years this has been the devil had wanted to destroy you i'm saying first week of october they would have buried you but in the name that is above all names the bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the lord but the earth has he given so all oh earth i forbid you from taking this man's body in the name of jesus he will live long he will live strong and for every one of you praying for him may your family members live long in the name of the Lord Jesus daddy we are going to walk one more time look at look at he's so excited to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil come and walk again daddy walk hallelujah hallelujah please take him to his seat the Lord perfects him in the name of Jesus worship him help us let's save him Oh, he's able. 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 He's able.
You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. The creator of heaven and earth. Set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft. Acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? Husband is dead. Husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They've, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. Free! Now! Madam, if there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify i cause cancer now 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 out of her body by the power of the holy ghost cancer dies now 
together with the leg issue your leg will start moving now supernaturally by itself your leg will start moving under the influence of the spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Look at this innocent girl. Look at this girl. Where's the camera? When you look at this girl, you see a walking corpse. Do you understand? I'm seeing a coffin in the spirit. They have finished this girl since last year. This girl you are seeing. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said it. Is there anything? Too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Father, change this girl's story. I bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of Jesus Christ. Out now. Out now. Out now. In the name of Jesus I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death i command your exodus now in the name of jesus let's save time thank you jesus free she's in the hospital set her free
saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against Jacob shall stand see don't let all this nonsense voice is when you don't know who you are I think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused worship it are you ready now give us that song Sing anything, even if you don't know the fashion. Just sing the one you know. Are you ready now? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Don't tempt me in the name of Jesus. Don't tempt me. Oh, to a catch in the game. Not my fault. What are you doing? Sam is not around. Yeah. Jehovah will give you all the way. the worship team. Drama, be careful in Jesus name. Hey, if we don't finish here on time, you will sleep here. Oh. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. <laughs> Mommy, be healed. Every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be free. Every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Do you have your prayer request? Please start submitting it. Usher, start getting a prayer request. Prayer requests are very important. They are not a formality. If you've not written it, now is the time. Send a text to your loved one. And say, send it fast. There is a God that answers prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say, yes, he is mighty to say. Be healed now forever, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10. Just 1 to 10. If you are more than 10, keep them. 1 to 10. Please bring them out. 1 to 10. Mothers, if you are tired, give somebody to hold the child and come with it. Please. Just hurry up. Let's save time while we collect it. Please. If you are not interested, you can sit back, please. Bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby. Teach me how to hold them. 
before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. The baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. Every barren woman in this place, stand up. Everybody stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Shake up at the balada bagada bed. Rete le banda brandos ko parada balata skepetika. God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says, children are heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray. I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny, you are a hundred level and you just come and march out here. Please, we are not playing jamboree here. I know there are men of God that do we are acting based on instruction. Make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married. Don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the Lord. Praise God. All of you stretch your hands. It's amazing. Let me challenge men. I don't see any father standing here. And I if I remember very well, I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man. Fathers, men. Every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Ladies, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please, let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell, name of the Lord Jesus, everything that makes your brain dull, we command that you are not dull. In the name of Jesus Christ, bring her please in the name of jesus christ baby grow in the fear of the lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 
now if you know honestly please don't play games with god here you know that you are trusting god to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games i am very very serious about it God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. He is a glorious God. God is I know you are a miracle walker. God is a glorious Sing it one more time. ready to marry this year are you joking eh? you are standing in for somebody okay. hallelujah listen listen we are young people but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined are you getting my point now now look up i want to say something very important some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages hallelujah Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming, we break it from the realm of the spirit now. May that married man never call you again. I know you have been getting money from him, but the relationship is hereby declared non and for it. you must choose to walk in holiness and integrity hallelujah there are people standing here that there are powers and thrones please lift your hands and horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage you are a very pretty lady but nobody can look at you the moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you something just happens and scatters it there are some of us you are guys you are a, you are a hard-working and disciplined person but the moment any lady comes to you today she says she's she's serious after one week there are some of you people come and they die some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away but in the name that is above all names listen this is an apostolic ministry we are not ashamed the bible says i am not ashamed of the gospel every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom we will preach it and we will set people free lift your hands you will be very surprised i said it at the beginning of the year that god told me there will be surprise marriages even people who did not believe and expect listen let me give you a revelation my bible says male and female he created them what and what did he say female and female did he say male and male that means ladies there is a male counterpart for you you believe that i'm going to pray for the man not a man are you getting me not one man meandering around and you say let me manage time is going no you can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave you cannot manage marriage lift your hands let's first destroy these altars of Baal. see that ababa get ready because the power of god is about to shatter spells into pieces father everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the lord jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you one two 
three right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he is walking in this earth right now just like boas located root i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money god punish the devil in the name of the lord jesus we call for supply the beds that brought food for elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now Go and return with your testimony. Please rise up everybody. Pastor Jax, please come. Pastor Jax is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request. Listen friends, we have a God that answers prayers. There are just a few minutes and we'll be out of here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with God. Get, go ahead and pray. Father, we pray. Rabala bakashi paragale bondo si parabale bregale lele bokosa. Rakata na da rabasi te bale bondo bregale la varia da rabakasa na rabali gede. Riha tasa parabago dia de bale bregale de de bokosa ni rabada. In the rakata da bato parakata bale bregale la varia rabado varia. Rakoto paya rakata ni rabara bala bala. In de bregale le bondo bregale le bale bregale la varakada. Rakata ya rabala bala varia bale bale. Rakata bale varia rabada. In the rakata la bara bata la bara bada. Rakata da bara cha bara bada. Rakata li bara ba 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 ba. In the regele le le bako si bala bada. Rapato salietando ho. Imanda katoja ila. Barus aliatando. Iga boja ila. Raunda as ila palierno. Resula Italia. Rusa indoko. Iamba uada. Wapula ada yondelu. Riamula. Uacha kayuna ma, ua duya ya yamiala, ruma uba uragala, Rusia na makondo robo koshi kama. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts. We release contracts. We release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for it to building projects. 
it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise. Dead spiritual lives. Let it rise. The grace of God comes upon families. In the blessed name of Jesus. We speak to barren cases. Family challenges. In the name of Jesus. It ends. We speak to divorce cases. Aha. Lord, for those trusting you. For you to bring back their loved ones. Fathers, in the name of Jesus, we ask that fathers come back home. In the name of Jesus, we call for missing people. We ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the angels of God, bring them back in the blessed name of Jesus. And Lord, we speak right now into the highway. Aha! Lord, for our loved ones traveling right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the hand of God will be upon them. The Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory for every prayer point here, Lord. It receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray and the church of God says, Hallelujah! God's servant has prayed we convert this prayer request to testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please everybody stand inside and outside please rise something must change in your life right now And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless and this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. It's a weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child. He said, For many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction and I command receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now every area of your life break through now receive break through now shake it every limit every limit i smash it in the name of jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command it to start walking now. Start walking now. Every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward, there is a voice. Listen, the Bible says, in six things shall he deliver you, Job 5. He said, yes, seven things. He said in the time of famine you will laugh 
and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men in the name that is above all names i command every scorching tongue against your destiny be silenced now 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 to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God like the cedars of Lebanon will they be fat and flourishing I command barrenness to be over now I cause barrenness now I cause barrenness record to secretary reports come to Shabbat And Jesus said every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the Bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of Jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses he says see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and the sons of the prophet told Elisha he said where we meet with you is too small come let us go beyond the Jordan and the Bible says while they were felling the tree at Jordan the axe head fell and they said alas master for it was borrowed and the prophet said where did it fall and he threw a stick and the ant head began to float I reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only God can change it may that God change it now every situation in your life that only God can change may that God change now change it now change it now That when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and so said among the hidden the Lord has done great things for them he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh God as the rivers in the Negev I pray let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness 
therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows and the Bible says Esther went in and when the king saw her he said Esther what would you have me do even up to half of my kingdom everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life we break protocols tonight and we command that God will take you there may my God take you there may my God take you there hallelujah and the man who was crippled from birth he needed a miracle but there was no man to help him and the Bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him it's one thing for men to want to help you but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way I prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life career wise marriage wise academic wise I call them into your life now 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 hallelujah the Bible says thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about Genesis 24 verse 1 and Abraham was old and well stricken in age and the Lord had blessed him in all things how many things how many things every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing the Bible says Naaman second Kings 5 was the captain of the Syrian army he was a mighty man the Bible says but he was crippled I pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of God let that area of your life receive that divine touch now receive it now receive it now hallelujah the Bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut down he said at the scent of water at the scent of water everything in your life that has gone down that you're asking can God take me back to this level again some of you are asking can I go back to the level of anointing I used to function in again can God take me to that level of grace again my God and your God restores all things for you now the Lord Most High restores all things now. May the peace of God that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now I pray for you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord lift up his face before you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ give God praise in the name of Jesus I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching